Hey guys, welcome back. So I want to do a review on these uh, Zrodes uh, Dynamic LED Mounting Solutions. These are some brackets. I had similar ones that I had bolted on to my 04 F350 if you guys saw my video. But I had made it myself um, with some brackets from a Jeep. So these ones right here are meant for this truck, which is awesome because I don't have to do any bolting into the... Um, the hood itself now I'm gonna be getting a new hood but uh, for now I'm gonna go ahead and put these on I didn't buy it with the lights um, because I want some more powerful lights so I'm gonna be doing light shopping next but I'm gonna put the brackets on um, just because I'm excited to put this on and and uh, so but uh, anyways uh, and the ones that I got are for um, two two pods two three inch pods on both sides they do sell it with just one pod if you want but uh i got it so i can get four four on there so it's actually some good heavy duty quality um nice uh usually i'll spray coat these uh with the bed liner stuff to make it a rougher look but i think i'm just going to keep it the way it is because you actually won't see any of these brackets um, so these right here, what you do is you're just taking out this, this bolt right here and, uh, the bolt, uh, right there. You're going to slide this in there just like this until, and you push it in until this hole fits. Um, and I'm going to have, it looks like I'm going to have to, I have to use this little teeny one because I don't have a number 13. See this? this part right here I got a number 12 but I don't have a 13 it's crazy you know living in an apartment complex you get all these tools I just don't have enough room for them all so there's only so many tools I can have it's like every job I do requires at least 15 tool different kinds of tools and trying to make things work and everything so wow look at that perfect fit that's awesome so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave it a little loose so I can see how it looks with this on here. So this is going to fit in here just like this. Ooh, it looks so clean. And then it's going to bolt on just like that. And then you'll have the right on top. So nice. All right, cool. Now this is a cool tool, guys. Um, so I didn't have... Uh, the number 13 it's somewhere I'm trying to look for it, but I couldn't find it. It's probably one of my job sites uh, But this guy right here saved me uh, It uh, has multiple heads and it's stuck out just high enough to where see I can put it in there like this And then I can turn it like this and then I can twist so This is really cool tool and you can go up like this up down so this definitely helped me out. Um, I definitely would recommend using one of these if you want multiple tools in one. It's not a ratchet, so it doesn't ratchet, but it does help uh, getting into those tight spots. All right, and there you have it. So it's ready for the two lights to go on top. It's nice and flush. Um, looks very, looks perfect. Uh, it was very easy to install these two bolts. You have these ones right here. I would probably get a Loctite washer. I'm surprised it didn't come with it. But there is enough room, it looks like, in here. You can fit a Loctite washer in there as well. Um, you do want to keep the regular washer in there because there is a good size hole. And the Loctite washer could fall inside of that hole. So uh, I would just fit a Loctite washer inside there as well. But we'll see how that how that goes with the bumping around. So here's the brackets. Very slick, very clean. Uh, they don't stick out like the ones that I had bolted on my hood. Um, very low profile. I really like it. The shape fits perfectly with the truck. Um, and you can see right here there's very small uh, gap right here. Um, but it allows you know to be able to open it up and it doesn't hit at all so that's very well made they did a good job at uh you know making it uh look very clean so